Back in the day, each part in an assembly had three constraints. And if you used anything other than a mate, well, you were just showing off. Well, that's just not the case anymore. With Autodesk Fusion 360, we're taking assembly modeling to the next level by capturing the working relationships between components in the form of joints. Now, take it easy, Cheech. Not those kind of joints. Joints in the form of rigid, revolute, slider, cylindrical, pin slot, planar, and ball. Far out, right? Well, it turns out it's not that far out after all there, Spicoli. Each part in an assembly has a working relationship with another. Components have a range of motion, hard limits, relationships, and cause and effect. These relationships are impossible to model with traditional mate, insert, or angular constraints. So joints serve the purpose of positioning components relative to one another, but with the intelligence you have asked for. Autodesk Fusion 360 makes it easy to create, manage, and exercise these intelligent relationships just as easily as you do with components or bodies. You can drag parts to see the motion of many parts, or you can drag a single joint to see the isolated motion. And with all that moving around, you can set limits, even set up a home position so everything snaps back into place. In-context part creation is a key element of rapid design, so we took that concept into joints as well with as-built joints. As-built joints enable you to define the movement of components based on the current part positions, thus speeding up your assembly modeling. Let's go visit autodesk.com forward slash fusion 360 and get started today.